a six cents out of a nickel thought of the day. Hi, I had a video topic all picked out for today. And then um, a radio show uh, came on about Lisa LaFlamme's line-siding dismissal from uh, CTV News. Um, people are calling it ageism and, and sexism because uh, she was an older lady and her, her hair is white. Um, is that where we're at nowadays? You know, are, are we still in that frame of mind? I mean, I remember with my, uh, I, when my late wife was alive, um, I discovered a gray hair in my beard. Now there's many of them. But I discovered the first gray hair. And uh, I made a big presentation about it. It's like, oh, look at this, look at this. And she came running as if there was a major problem. And then that's when I pointed, it's a gray hair. And she looked at me and she said, you're going to get a few more of those. Don't worry about it. I really wasn't worried about it. It was just more the presentation aspect of it. I was just trying to be funny. I mean, I have a cousin that was gray from the time he was 21, like a full head of gray hair. And apparently it's a condition. Um, I'm just happy that I'm 49 and I'm, I only have a few gray hairs to date. Well, it appears fast food chain Wendy's and uh, soap manufacturer Dove have taken a stand and launched marketing campaigns in support of Lisa LaFlamme. And I say, you're yeah, good for them for taking a stand. That's, that's, that's a very positive move. But in my humble opinion, the real battle shouldn't be fought in the court of public opinion. It should be fought in a courtroom, you know, where, or at least the Ministry of Labor or something. There has to be some, uh, some governing body that holds them to account. You know, public opinion all well and, is all well and good, but it um, doesn't really hold water when it comes to, the, to situations like this. I mean, if CTV is willing to do this blatantly out in the open, I mean, how many other fake, flimsy, or whimsical things are employers getting away with that we're not really aware of? I think that's the major issue there. I think we need to strengthen the enforcement of such things. Uh, it shouldn't make it to public opinion. There should be consequences that make public opinion basically just the icing on the cake, not the entire cake. It certainly sounds to me like there's more to this story than we're being told. Um, we're only really told the surface in any of these situations. But if the allegations are true, shame on CTV News and anyone else who tries to uh, fire someone just because of their age or because they have gray hair, especially a woman with gray hair. Like, you know what, women don't get old too? Like, it happens to all of us. That doesn't mean that they should be, you know, punished or, uh, or let go. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me. Now, there may be more to this story than we're being led to believe. There may be details that come out later on that make a lot of this make sense. And I hope there are. I hope that there is some kind of logic behind this that doesn't uh, have anything to do with, you know, with her gender or, or gray hair. All that's really clear is the situation is still unfolding and hopefully details emerge that make this seem a little less ominous. Because it certainly doesn't look good the way it stands right now. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for more content. Thank you very much. Until next time.